Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So today I thought what we could do is play with my um, vintage frames and photos digital download, which is some 1920s, I think roughly era um, cabinet cards that my sister gave me for Christmas and I scanned and they're now in a digital download in my shop. Um, we'll make some faux cabinet cards and all I've done is attach the frame to some cardstock, or not cardstock, but cardboard, like from a cereal box. And um, then I've inked it a lot and spritzed it with some coffee and all kinds of stuff, and it um, really gave it that old grungy look, and I've stamped it. And these images here are uh, Tim Holtz portraits, his new paper dolls that are in uh, portrait. I don't know what you call it, but anyway, <laughs> um, so it's just the, the upper part of the body. So um, we're going to use those. And then this background is from my um, In the City Volume 2 digital download. And I've just decorated it with all kinds of, you know, there's some screw heads and stuff. And these are from Louisa Heinzel's uh, freebie for her tag challenge. They were in there and my daughter, my daughter didn't use all hers, so I went ahead and put them on there and uh, you know, grungied them up a lot. And then on the back, there's a little Tim Holtz piece of paper, one of those little rectangles that come at the back of his uh, paper pads. And I just took one of them and uh, put some of the papers and things from the 1920 uh, something digital download that's in my shop. And um, I added one of his paper dolls here. This is from the 1920s something digital download. I think that's Tracy Fox, just a washi sticker there and uh, just a tag. So that just tucks in there like that. And then uh, you have the cabinet card on the front and you can tuck it into a pocket or, you know, could even send it as happy mail like it is because that's just kind of a fun little thing. And you could even put a few other little doodads in there or you could even make a pocket that goes straight across too if you liked that better, um, however you want to do it. So. We've got one of the cabinet cards, uh, and I'm gonna just glue it to the printed side of the um, the cereal box. It doesn't really matter because I am gonna cover this, but if, for instance, you wanted to leave this natural so it does look even more like um, a cabinet card, then you could do that too. So cover up the bright side if you're going to do that. If you're not, it doesn't really matter which side you cover. It really doesn't. So we're just going to glue this. Yeah, so I had fun with my daughter yesterday. She, or on Sunday, it wasn't yesterday. My days are all mixed up. But anyway, because um, she was home for spring break, the end of her spring break, because she went on a little vacation with friends. And uh, we did the Louisa Heinzel tag challenge for her 20,000 subscriber giveaway. So uh, that was very fun. And I think I've got Aiden hooked on collage now because the next day she was like, I want to do another collage. And so we started to do that. But then um, she was like, oh, I want to work on my miniature. I got her a, a miniature for her birthday uh, this year. She loves doing those. You can get them on Amazon. It's like I've gotten her an Alice in Wonderland one, and this one sort of looked like a little dorm room, but you have to make everything for it. Like, they give you all the pieces, but you have to put it all together. Like, there was a little bed and a chair and tiny little pillows, and you make all the little tiny books and um, framed pictures and it, just all kinds of stuff. You make all the parts for it, and you even do the wiring, like, for a little light. If I had it here, I'd show it to you, but she took it back to her dorm. But um, anyway she uh, wanted to get that done so she can put it up in her dorm so that's what she did instead but it was just funny because normally she's not really into the stuff that I do that's she just it's just not really her thing <laughs> which is fine and um but she really enjoyed doing that collage so it was cute so I'm going to cut out just the center of this I'm just going to uh, stop the camera for a minute and then I'll start it again because I mean how exciting is that and I know um, that makes people nervous, so okay, I'll be right so back. so I got that all cut out, and I did boo-boo it up a little bit, but um, if, if you're smarter than I am, you will wait until it is dry, like you glue it down, let it dry all the way before you start trying to cut the uh, center part out, because it, does, it will tear the paper funny right there, <laughs> or, well, not right there on every frame, but you know what I'm saying. Okay, 
had to have a sip of my Pepsi there. So what we're going to do is spritz and spray and make this all kind of vintagey looking. So yeah, I hope you guys are having a good, wow, how did I get that just everywhere? Weird. Um, good day. Um, and like I said, if you, if you don't want to grungy it, then, then don't, I just like it that way. This corner got kind of dinged. So you know what, you can kind of bang them a little and they'll ding up a little more. I know I like that look, but, um, cause that's how they get. Like if you've ever found some that aren't like, haven't been kept in a drawer or whatever, like somebody's, uh, traveled with or, uh, taken with them places and stuff, they do get kind of bunged up. And I did mess it up a little right there too, but it's okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter, because like I said, we're just gonna dirty it up and grungy it up anyway, so that just adds to it. Yeah, watching me with a exacto X-Acto blade in my shaky hands could probably make people a little crazy, so I was like, I'm just gonna turn the camera off. <laughs> Makes me a little crazy, so. <laughs> so yeah, I hope everything's good with y'all. Okay, so I just sort of did that, and then I just took my coffee, and it's just coffee in a bottle. And I saved these. This is that perfume stuff from Bath and Body Works. Um, I just save them and wash them, and then... You know, you can use them for water or whatever you feel like spraying. And then when they stop working, then you can throw them away. So they got a little more life at least, right? So you can already see because it's the the stress oxide that it's um, making a, a like edge around it and stuff. Turning that green. I mean, part of that is the uh, printer ink, you know, but it also just reacts with uh, water or in this case coffee, but the wetness is what causes the distress oxide to um, change things, change the color of things because they're water soluble. So they react with water. And sometimes if you lift it, well, especially on white paper, you'll get the little white dots, but you can see here I'm getting dots all over so getting a bubble there too from the uh glue stick <laughs> doesn't always hold up to getting wet I mean that's not what it's meant to do so Let's see so if I just leave that it'll make like a little pooled area I like the walnut stain. It does some cool effects. I mean, they're all great, of course, but the walnut really kind of just, just does neat stuff. Oops, rubbing away the paper there. Do it a little bit lighter. Maybe you won't rub the paper away, Amy. Get a little overzealous with that. My sprayer's not spraying great. And so the more layers you do, obviously, the more kind of cool effects that you'll get. But if you like a spot just the way it is, then consider it done, right? Plus, when you do this and you dab it, then you kind of dry it that much quicker. Got like a, there's bubbles in this that I'm not happy with. 
Okay, I think that's good. We can always add a little bit more if we want more. All right, and then I thought I would use, this is from my 1920 something digital download. And then I'm gonna use this uh, Tim Holtz portrait. But I thought we could get, if we can get mostly flowers here, like right to the edge. Then when we put her picture in, hopefully she'll have some flowers behind her. I might scoot her down just a little, not too much, because that looks weird. <laughs> so I'll try to keep it more. I just want to see some flowers behind her. I don't know if that's going to work. Might have to use something else. We could go with something like this, and I don't know where this paper came from, so I apologize for that. It's just one that I found in my... I went through, I have all these uh, manila file folders full of digitals um, from when I first started, you know, and kind of my time doing this and lots of stuff has just gotten shoved in there. Some of them I know where they're from, others I don't. So yeah, kind of a bummer that way. Do I want the roses? I kind of like this darker since we're going grungy though. Huh. So what else do I have? So this is my old or vintage um, frames and photos digital. This is 1920 something. This might look pretty behind her. That's from my In the City Volume 2. <laughs> I just like to mix them all up. That's why I kind of sometimes do similar colors in digis because you can mix them up that way. Like, even though these are different time periods, the 1920s and then the, um, this is more Victorian. The In the City Volume 2 is more of a Victorian look. I'm just trying to find where I like the colors. I think I like that over there. Okay, so I'm gonna ink around her. I think I'll use the, uh, the walnut since that's what I've been using. These are actually real easy to put together and you can do the backs loads of ways. Like you guys have seen me, if you've watched before, I do um, the cabinet cards and make like a little flip book at the back or a little booklet that opens up and then a spot to write. I mean, there's loads of different ways that you can do these cabinet cards. They're a lot of fun to play with if you've got some or if you don't have some. Um, and even if you don't have my digital, if you can find, uh, you know, like an image of a cabinet card, you can use that. So we're roughly almost four and a quarter. So I pretty much cover the whole back with uh, the paper that I'm using. So just a tiny bit less there. And then this way, got like six and a quarter. I try to do that quietly as I can because a lot of people don't like the cutter, so I just try to not make it totally obnoxious sounding. So what I'm going to do is glue her into the frame itself at the bottom, and then I'll just place her on top of that paper. I think I'm going to have to pull her this way a little bit more so she's more centered. Okay, where did I put my glue? Oh, it's over there. Hold on just a second. I forgot Aiden was using it to make or to do her miniature, so it was across the room. Yeah, it's fun when she's here and hangs out in here, even if she's doing homework or whatever. It's just nice to have somebody to chat at and like I do with you guys. <laughs> of course, like I said, she's normally not real interested in what I'm doing, but... 
she's getting more so I think uh, you know taking the art classes and becoming more interested in art and that I just think she um, has just gotten more interest for it before really her focus was music I mean I am shocked that she did not go into music um, but she just, she doesn't like practicing. That's what she told me. She's like, mom, I don't like practicing and I know I can't, like, it's so competitive. You know, if you don't practice enough, you're never gonna get anywhere. And she's always like doing like crafts and art and that kind of thing, but it's just never not been her focus. But now I think that it is more her focus. She's more interested and that's normal. That's what we do in life. Our interests change and stuff on her face. All right, let's see. So we're just gonna glue that on the back. And I think the easiest way is to just go around the edge and then I'll put a little glue on there too. Actually, maybe I'll just go around the edge of this. Like trying to remember, how did I even do that other one? And then I did put a decorative paper on the other side too, so that's actually kind of double papered. Because you really kind of want to make sure, especially on the edges, it gets good and stuck so it's not lifting because that isn't a good look, right? Okay, now if we can get this right side up, I'm going to actually put it this way, I think, so I can hopefully get it straight. But I think they really, and they feel like cabinet cards, I think they turn out pretty neat. Oops. Wow, I did not cut that well, did I? Well, it's okay, because we're going to put another piece of paper over it. Don't want to bubble in it. And I noticed down here, you can kind of see the box just a little, and I, you can see that over there, so I'll be trimming all that. <laughs> just goes to show, rarely do we get these things perfect, right? And if I was good with my blade, I could probably cut this better with the blade, but I'm not so good with that. Okay. Oh, come on. I just don't want to see that color from that cereal box, you know, because it's so kind of obnoxious colored. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to ink that yet. I'll wait till I get the back on there. We can put on something decorative on the back. Um, 1920s one in this pile. Oh, those are all my CD envelope covers. Work. That's in the 1920 something. So is this one. That's got part of the car. This back part would be pretty though, with the blues. And I feel like you could still write on that if you wanted to. And this one, I will definitely try to make sure I cover the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is um, use glue stick and cover the back of this. And then I'll put it on top of that. Okay. 
And make sure you get your corners real good so they're nice and stuck down. So I can do it the right way. And some of the words might be upside down. And that paper is going this way and that way anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I just want to make sure we get all our edges here. these portraits they're so great like it's just really fun they're fun to play with and oh you guys have got to go check out um Lou Frufru Tammy at Lou Frufru on um YouTube and I'll leave a link to her channel in my description box because she just finished a little accordion journal using my um in the city volume 2 digital download Oh my goodness, she did such an amazing job. She likes to use a lot of uh, Tim Holtz pieces and stuff. And they just went really well with that kit. I mean, like, they would go well with this kind of thing, too. But anyways, she just did a gorgeous job on that. And I so appreciate that. So thank you, thank you, Tammy. But definitely go check it out if you want to see a really neat um, version of the In the City digital because she just did great oh, it's beautiful beautiful very talented and she's pretty new she doesn't have all that many subscribers so if you guys could go over and subscribe that would be so awesome because she just she does great videos she does um i saw it on pinterest videos and um yeah, they're just, she does some really super fun stuff. So if you like this kind of style, like what I'm doing now, she definitely does that kind of a look and just beautiful work. So definitely go check her out. I asked her to do a guest design team project using that and she did and it turned out gorgeous. So love it. All right, so then on the back, I think I want to do the same kind of pocket. I'm just going to do it the same way as the other one that I did because, you know, that just, that worked. So uh, i got to find a piece that I can use as the pocket. I should have saved some of that Tim Holtz. Oh, well, right here. Looky here. I've got a piece. This piece might go good. I mean, none of those are fabulous, are they? Actually, that's not bad with it. Let's do that. I mean, you could use another piece from the digital, or you could even use, like, um, where is it? I don't know, a piece like this, one of the cutout cards, not as big as this one, obviously. It's too big, but you could use one of those and just back it with something, but I just want something that's already kind of a little bit thick. So that's what I'm going with. But you can use any paper that has a little body to it just so that it'll, um, where is my, I'm going to round this corner here because that's the tuck side. Don't have to do that though. Probably I'm gonna get one of these done. I'm not so good at getting a whole bunch done, that's for sure. But you could make a bunch of them and have them all different with those portraits, especially from Tim Holtz. There's all different ones. And um, be all set for lots of journals. So we're gonna glue this on, just on two sides, because it's a, it's a little tuck instead of a pocket. But that's kind of a fun little surprise on the back to have. You think it's just uh, like a journaling card, but it's got, I just want to make sure I've got the right direction. <laughs> so it's good to check, even if you're pretty sure you're good, because <laughs> I have done them upside down. 
<laughs> I've done pretty much all the bad backwards things <laughs> that you can do in journaling. I had to take signatures out and re-stitch it. I've had to do it all, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to make sure you can see it on the front. All right, so then we need like a tag or something to go in that pocket. And I'm sorry, I didn't have all this stuff ready to go. I just didn't think that far ahead, I guess. Put my tags on this. No, there's no tags on there. Oh, I love this baby. So cute. I think that one's too big. I need kind of kind of this size. Maybe we'll go with that one. With this trumpet. And like I said, I've just printed these on my um, Southworth paper, which just is like copy paper, basically, as far as weight, 24 pound or whatever. And then So I am backing it on a piece of scrap manila file folder, which is a good trick if you don't print. I just don't print a whole lot on cardstock because my printer just really likes to eat cardstock. <laughs> so every once in a while I can get it to work and it works, but it's not worth the hassle. So <laughs> that thing is the most persnickety. Sometimes it works great. Other times it just makes me want to scream. And it's usually when I'm in a hurry or I just need to get something done. I don't have time to fiddle with it, you know, is when it gives me heck. So, yeah, I've given up and just. I like to do all different things. I mean, sometimes I even use my tags and journaling cards in collage and stuff. So it's better if they're on the thinner paper. But that's just my preference. If you like to just print on cardstock, then go for it. We all got our things, right? We all got our things and our crazy machines we have to deal with. This card I think is, or tag's a little smaller than the other tag I used, but it's okay. You get the idea, so let's just kind of tuck in there. Maybe he can peek over the top a bit. Didactic. That's from Gail Augustinelli. <laughs> I was just seeing if I had any little bits I could put on there. another Tim Holtz but we'll just use these. I think I might use this lady's photo here. Very pretty. cut straight at all. At all. I'm just going to ink it along there because I just boo-booed it all up, but nobody will know but all you guys. <laughs> yeah, I like that down there. 
really like the way he gets hidden, but I guess that's just sort of the nature of the beast. All right, what could we put on there with her? A flower, maybe? Could use a label. Don't think I want a bird. <laughs> That's a from Louisa Heinzel. Yeah, you guys should totally do her freebie. She, that's a, a great freebie that she's offering. It's got some neat little pieces in it. Do I like the green? No. Brown's better for that piece. Oh, this is kind of neat. It says, very truly yours. Goes good with the stamp on there. I like that. Not finding a flower I want. Tea cards. That would work. That's from Tracy Fox. Her uh, faux tea cards are, I don't know if they're a scan of real tea cards. I don't know. Anyway, they're Tracy Fox. Got those ages ago. Rough it up on this side a little bit. I need to cut my nails again. They're out of control. But they work good for that. Just a splash of this on there. How long have I been jabbering at you guys? 28 minutes? Oh, that's not too bad. We still got to decorate the just that front little portion of that too. I don't want to get glue on her face, so I think I'm gonna switch out the page now. the corner a little. Do we want anything else? Maybe some stamping. That would be good. I'm going to use this. This is a Stampin' Up stamp. That's all I know. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think you can get it anymore unless you can find it like on Etsy or something like that. Sorry, not very helpful with that. <laughs> Those kind of things. Let's just do like a little bit over here. Maybe ink the back of that too. I find it easier sometimes to, if I just want part of these when they're on the wood block, to just pick it up and do it that way. Oh, geez, I almost covered her face. That was bad. Were you guys yelling at me? Luckily, I didn't totally, but... Okay, that was not good stamping on my part. Apologize. All right, so I will stitch some fabric up there. And then on this side, hmm, 
what do I want on here? Birds. <laughs> these yeah saw the yellow and thought it might work but I don't love that maybe we could stamp one of those and then hold on hold on just got these little bits left from Louisa, it's like a postcard. Great Britain and Ireland, it says on it. And it's Germany down there. So it's been everywhere, I guess. Oh my goodness, Gosh, sneezing his little head off. And it's got a Liverpool postmark. I wanted that to uh, crinkle up more, but it didn't want to. This wouldn't work if I didn't put it. See, the problem with these washi ones, if you've got anything like that, it really has to... It needs more body. They're not... They don't, they're not thick enough. They're too thin if it hangs over the edge like that. Is what I am trying to say, but. And this is pretty. See, something like that would work because this is thicker because it's uh, Tim Holtz. I do like that. So we use that. And then sorry, I'm just rummaging through this here. Stamp. She got something on her nose. I like the stamp. I think we'll go with that. Not that one. And since we're going grungy, I am gonna spritz this just a quick little bit. This is, I don't know where this stamp is from. I think it might be one of mine. I just can't remember which digital it's in. <clears throat> that will go there. was thin paper so it crinkled up nice and I'm gonna stamp it and this is just a um, stamp I got on um, Amazon from crafty individual I think it is or what's it called? Yeah, Crafty Individuals. I really just use it for those lines. <laughs> Put the flower on. I think I'm going to use a little bit of our glitter glue. 
and I'm not going to put it on this part over here because that's the part that goes over the picture. And there's a little gap right there, so. Very nice. You got a little bit on that end. That there, and then I think I might do, how about we do June? Sure, why not? Oopsie. I'm not going to do that other stamp because I messed up the other side so much. Oh. <laughs> Made me sad. All right. So that is our little card. And like I said, I will put a piece of fabric up at the top and stitch around that uh, tag. So it'll be all ready to go. And then I might put something else in this pocket too because there's plenty of room for another little piece over here maybe. You know, something like that, or this one I kind of like better. Yeah, something like that. Let's ink that one. That's just a uh, collage board that I uh, cut into tags. Put a flower on that one. I do like to trim around these a little. I feel like there is way too much white around them. So just a little tip if you don't like all that and you don't use them because of that, they're super easy to trim. I think it does help. I mean, I always ink around them, but I just still feel like it's just way too much unnecessary white space there. So I hope you guys try this. I hope you like this idea. And like I said, if you don't have my digital, if you can find, if you have like cabinet cards, you know, from your family or you just have one at home and you could like copy it and use it or whatever, they're definitely fun to make. But if you do want the Digi, it's in my shop. Vintage frames and photos. Eh. And I'm trying to get uh, some Tim Holtz, you know, I'm trying to sell Tim Holtz products, but right now they're having supply issues like everything else. <laughs> so they're not taking on new people. So I don't, I don't know what's going to end up happening with that. But if I can get them, then I'll let you know whenever I'm able to have that stuff in my shop. Would love to because I, I love it and I can never find the inks that I want when I want them at least in our area I, I mean you can like um, order it online like there's that I can't remember what it's called that stampin place um, can't think of it right now but anyway they have a lot of Tim Holtz stuff and then on Etsy too you can find it which I often use Etsy this is just from my price tag digital download so I think I'll put it on there like the flowers are a dollar I want stuff to crunch today and it's just not working for me <laughs> I don't know why I like that, but I do. All right, so there's just a simple little tag that will go in here. And then I'll stitch 
fabric up there and it'll be all set to go but i hope you guys like these hope you give it a try because they are they are fun to do in the backs all right i hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and we will chat again tomorrow bye bye now